This is cute and wholesome. They're beautiful. They're soft, smooth, delicate. Getting weird. I'm Jim Fritch. I need all you dozens of viewers out there to just tell me how you like this, all right? Hey there, singular kid. Did you guys know that back in the day I used to absolutely hate and despise reaction content? Even though it's like probably the most popular medium on the internet for content creators, I thought it was the laziest, most non-creative um, garbage form of content imaginable. Until one day, I was sitting there with my nephew, Austin, and he was showing me something on his phone. This is what he was doing, okay? You're me and I'm him. He was going like this. Look at Jamie. He was so thrilled to observe my reaction to whatever it was that he was showing me. And that's when it hit me. I was like, oh my gosh, I get it. Reaction videos are fun. It's like when you show your friend a movie they haven't seen before and you're like, see that part? Watch this part, watch this part, watch this part. I get it, it's fun to watch things together. So finally, about a year or so ago, I caved and I do a lot of reaction content over on Facebook. And oftentimes I'm peer pressured by my Facebook viewers to react to TLC shows. TLC is the weirdest channel like ever. Name a channel on, you know, television that has weirder shows, okay? You can't. TLC is the home of My Strange Addiction, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, Extreme Cheapskate, Toddlers and Tiaras, Sister Wives, Dr. Pimple Popper, Best Funeral Ever. <laughs> It's endless. So recently I was reacting to an episode of My Strange Obsession or My Strange Addiction. I don't know. I can't remember. I have learned so much from all of these shows. In particular, something I learned this year was that there is a whole subset, if you will, of people who are in love with inflatable objects. I knew there was people in love with objects. Okay. I've seen the lady who married the Eiffel Tower. We've been, th we've been over this. I know people don't get it. <laughs> but I do love her. But there is an even subbier subset of individuals. It's not just objects, it's inflatable objects specifically. So I wanna watch this episode of My Strange Addiction with you today. We're gonna check out some more extreme cheapskates together. <laughs> extreme cheapskate show. <laughs> Why is it so hard to say? I don't know, I kinda wanna do it all. And, y and you guys can watch me react and then maybe, maybe I could watch you react to me reacting and then maybe you could react to me reacting to you reacting to me. We'll just go full sniper wolf, you know what I mean? So without further the idea, let's check out the creepy balloon perv. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to insult the guy, but one of my editors referred to him as the balloon perv and I just, I can't stop saying it ever since then. Anyway, here we go. Balloon lover after a word from today's sponsor. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey friends, you want to know what I have? I have a crazy schedule between writing scripts, researching, filming for YouTube, making TikToks, being a wife, an aunt, a friend, daily sessions of goat yoga, and uh, weekly trips to the toilet store for my clothes. Things get pretty hectic. And a crazy schedule can make it really easy for you to fall into a recipe rut where you just cook the same things over and over. But thankfully, there is always something new and fresh and exciting to cook with HelloFresh. <coughs> with so many endless in-season ingredients, you will be able to taste the freshness of fall with every bite of HelloFresh's chef-crafted recipes. That was a tongue twister. <laughs> They have these very quick and easy options, including, but not limited to, their 15 minute meals, which just makes, it's just the biggest time saver in the world. And yes, 15 minutes is less time than it takes to get delivery from one of those delivery apps. You know the one. Turn to HelloFresh's market, if you will, for yummy add-ons and enjoy the season's limited time fall flavors lineup. Feast on desserts like the apple cider cake with caramel sauce. Or please a crowd with appetizers like barbecue pulled pork nachos. And don't forget, ladies, the mini pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, perfect for your little me time treat, you know, where you just sit there eating it bite after bite, thinking to yourself, I'm so bad. <laughs> but you're not bad, you're good. Just like every single thing I've ever eaten from HelloFresh. You guys are gonna love it, you gotta sign up. I honestly don't remember what my life was like before HelloFresh, I, I, I didn't cook. You guys know this, I complained about it all the time in my vlogs. Uh, I'm the worst cook imaginable, so this has been an incredible service for me. So if you're interested in checking out HelloFresh and trying some of their delicious fall recipes, you can visit HelloFresh.com and use code JamieSaid16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. Side note, this offer is for new subscriptions only and varies by plan across nine boxes, but trust me, it's worth it. A hundo, a hundo percento. Again, that's code Jamie said 16 at checkout for 16 free meals plus free shipping. You can feel free to click the link in my description box or scan this QR code. 
that was the pause you needed to scan the QR code. HelloFresh, thank you so much. This is two years. This is the very tail end of my two years working with HelloFresh. It's been the most delicious two years of my life. Thank you so much for all of your support, HelloFresh, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. That's all for this ad. <laughs> now back to the show. Phenomenal. What are we watching? <laughs> Hi kids. Hi kids. Do you like violence? Do you like violence? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But do you like strange addictions? How about the TLC strangest addictions of all time? I'm nervous. These are always so crazy gross, but you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. Let's check it out. She basically is like a wife to me. She's very pretty and some of the sweetest eyes and smile that quite frankly I've, I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe this guy. This is not your wife, okay? You're my pretty girl. Lila prefers to sleep on me, but once in a while, she'll let me sleep on her back. If I could marry Lila, I would, because I am that much in love with her. Am I crazy or does this look like two different guys? Like right there, he looks blonde with glasses, and earlier when he was kissing her, he looked like a brunette with no glasses. Conspiracy. I don't believe this. I feel like this was clearly staged for television, but if it is true, it just like makes me really sad. I feel like stuff like this maybe happens because people like this gentleman maybe haven't found what they're looking for in a human and maybe they believe they're not going to, so they resort to pool toys, you know? It's like, it's not, it's not funny. I'm just uncomfortable. Usually what I do is just store a lint roll in it and sometimes hair be in there and I have to pull it out I should be able to lick like that and nothing get caught on my tongue. But he is ready to go. Don't need it. <gasps> my name is Jennifer and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. <laughs> Sorry, that's just not a sentence you hear every day. I'm addicted to eating mattresses. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, <laughs> none of that. There's like a hard texture. Seriously, you don't even put any seasoning on it? Straight up. Just plain mattress? Just plain Jane foam flavor? When I found out that Jennifer eat mattresses, I was just bumbounded. I was like, oh, it blew my mind that she did that. But, but you stayed? You didn't run the other way? Jennifer eats about a square foot of mattress every day. Yeah, sure she does. Sure, Jan. You would die, right? I don't believe, I never believe this show. <laughs> show her swallowing it. Hmm? This is like a baby dumpling situation. Show her swallowing the mattress or it didn't happen. The reason why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. <laughs> <laughs> can't be real. Guys, while well, you were growing up sneaking candy out of your mom's purse, Jennifer here was sneaking mattress out of her mom's mattress. I'm done with mattress when it smells funny or if I get down to where it's just springs. I usually, when I crave to eat some mattress, it usually be out there two o'clock after I eat. I, I'm urged, I need to urge, I gotta have it, gotta have it. For some reason, after I would want some. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Honestly, the thing that kills me about reality TV is if this is staged, and everybody always says it's all staged, these people are like that, that. the best actors I've ever seen in my life. Like they, she could win an Oscar. Their delivery is so natural, so relaxed. It's literally like it's r a true story. I'm addicted to eating mattresses. So I don't know, man. Weigh in, weigh in in the comments. <laughs> she has beautiful teeth. The side effects of eating mattresses is gas is really the only one you have. Don't show her fart. It enters my body and leaves my body. It goes through my, my system and goes out. <laughs> I have seen it in the toilet. It comes out in whole pieces. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it, do everything I did to it, and I could use it again if I wanted, if I was that desperate. And by use it again, she means eat it again, meaning eat the mattress, poop it out, clean it, and re-eat it. <laughs> yes. This is incredible. Imagine calling a plumber and him being like, ma'am? There seems to be chunks of foam mattress clogging up your toilet. That was the culprit. <laughs> Jennifer's addiction began at age five when she ate the seat of the family car. I mean, how far does a five-year-old have to get eating your car seat before you say like, oh, hey, uh, don't eat, don't do that. I've eaten couches, box springs, chairs, but for the last 10 years, 
Mattresses has just been my thing. I do enjoy a mayo and mattress sandwich from time to time, but multiple servings of mattress a day cannot be good for your health. I like this comment. I eat mattresses straight up. Is there someone out there eating mattresses dipped in nacho cheese? <laughs> Funny how they casually mentioned when she was a child, she ate the family car seat. <laughs> My name's Kyle, I'm 31, I live in Pittsburgh, and I'm addicted to dating older women. Much older women. I don't know that this is the strangest addiction of all time. I, it, really? He's got a thing for golden girls, who cares? Like 60, 70, 80 year old older women. I love everything about older women. I love the smell, I love the feel, I love the mentality. I love dentures. I take it back. I take that back. This is weird. Ladies, I promise you, telling your man that you have dentures will not turn him off. It'll put a smile on his face. It'll put a smile on his No, God, no, no. Dude, this is what I don't like about this show, okay? We have to hear people's fetishes. I'm good. Kyle hasn't dated anyone younger than 60 over the past five years. So he's like the opposite of Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> His oldest girlfriend ever was 91 years old. No! So, uh, I don't believe it. Again, this is just for TV. This is just for TV. We have to remind ourselves. And you know why I have a problem? Because I feel like at some point, an older person dating a much younger person, there is a bit of a, one could argue, there's a um, power imbalance, but only to a certain age. And then when they become elderly, that power balance, that power imbalance shifts. And now the younger guy is likely to be a little bit more lucid and probably a little bit stronger than a 91-year-old girlfriend. Do you know what I'm saying? It seems, it seems I'm on my state website right now, and there's a lady on here named Karen. She absolutely has a look that I'm attracted to. She has the platinum hair. She has a great smile. She looks very pretty, very adventurous. So I'm gonna send her an email. There's a lot of terms for sexy older women. There's saber tooth tiger. I've also heard cougar. This is gross. I'm skipping this. I like when I scroll over the chapters in the YouTube video. It says grandma lover, inflatable love. Let's skip him. Oh, here's a balloon lady. My name is Julius. I'm 62 years old and I'm addicted to balloons. Aw, this is cute and wholesome. They're beautiful. They're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Getting weird. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. But what defines the addiction? Is he addicted to just having them? Is he eating them? Is he in love with them, you know? Just having them, I don't think is that weird. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. Honestly, I dig it. I think this sounds very fun and whimsical and probably feels like you're in a fun dream 24 seven. The only thing I wouldn't like is like walking through a house with 50,000 balloons in it. I feel like every step you would take, you would just hear. That could get annoying, you know? I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical one. Why, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Nope, you were cute, starting to make it weird. But Julius's obsession with balloons goes beyond shapes and colors. My love for balloons, it's also a sexual love. <laughs> I had so much faith in you, Julius. Why is it all... Uh, can't you just like balloons because they're fun? When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter and I get aroused. <laughs> I love that the producers of the show were like, let's get some B-roll of you holding the balloon <laughs> to your belly and going like this. A plus to the producers. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. No! Okay, you know what? Don't ask me to watch this show anymore. I don't need to hear anything else about people being in love with inflatable stuff. I was waiting for him to fart into the balloon. The fact that we watch this for entertainment and think these people are ridiculous is heartbreaking to me because these people have serious mental illnesses and we show it on TV. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, like a lot of them are not funny. A lot of them are gross, but I'm just, uh, the consolation is that I hope that this is not real, you know? Not saying these people don't exist, but I feel like this show maybe exaggerates stuff. Okay, friends, I'm gonna see myself out. Need a palate cleanser after that one. 
Well, friends, I thought I had seen it all that day. I thought a man in love with balloons was the pinnacle of the weirdness that I would witness on TLC, but I was wrong. I was wrong because I had not yet seen this lady on uh, Extreme Cheapskates. Other cheapskates you've seen may be extreme, but she is the extremist of the extreme. You know what I mean? Viewer discretion advised if you have a bit of a weak stomach. If you don't have a weak stomach, grab some popcorn and enjoy. So the cheapskates are back cheaper than ever. This one is called, This Cheapskate Husband Pulls Out His Wife's Tooth. Am I excited about this? No, but I'm doing it for you. Here we go. Over the years, I've been saving small items from the doctor's office. Most people don't know that you can ask for your gowns after a procedure. But why? Nine times out of 10, they're willing to give you that. The one time out of 10 is if they've got bodily fluids on them. First of all, gross. Second of all, what are you gonna do with a hospital gown? It's not like a flattering fashion statement to wear to the club, you know? When I go to the doctor, I typically ask for some extra freebies. Applicators, tongue depressors, sterilized, of course, and gloves. Gloves are my most favorite thing to get from the doctor's office. She kind of talks like a salesman, like she wants you to pick up this habit. She really wants to sell you on this idea that you can get freebies from the doctor's office. I sterilize them before I use them a second time. Ew, they're used? How do I save money on syringes is I have friends that are diabetic and they take insulin. I get friends to give them to me after they're finished. And then of course I sterilize them with rubbing alcohol. And you can safely use this up to four times. <gasps> that can't be true. You guys don't reuse needles, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I have to say that. What are you even doing with them? This paper is for when I perform medical procedures on myself. I just roll it out. What kind of procedure are you doing on yourself that you need to lay on sterile paper first? This is one of the more alarming. <laughs> episodes I've seen. Since a typical doctor's appointment can cost between $150 and $500, she even does her own medical procedures at home. Oh. I don't know exactly what he was doing to her. Oh. That's pretty hilarious that she donned the hospital gown and rolled out the paper just for like a simple blemish on her skin. I save thousands of dollars on not going to the doctor and the dentist. She doesn't go to the dentist. But. Recently, I've encountered a really bad toothache. I just had to go to the dentist. Oh man, I hate the dentist. Well, you definitely have an abscess on that tooth, okay? What I recommend you do is do a root canal on this tooth and then put a crown on it. But what's it gonna cost? You know, the reason I'm laughing at this is because most of the time these cheapskates are not hard pressed for cash. They just don't feel like spending it. You know what I mean? Well, you're looking at about $1,800. Okay, yeah. That's a lot. Well, that just looks like a pair of pliers. Spend the money. Spend the money, Karen. Well, I promise you, this is a precision extraction instrument. Well, can I take the tools home with me after I'm done? No, they're my instrument. Oh my God, no. This is one example of when I would instruct you not to go to YouTube. I want you guys to go on YouTube, okay? Because it's my job and it pays my bills. <laughs> do not look up how to do medical procedures on yourself, please. Don't be like Karen. Oh. Grant. <laughs> Grant, can you come in here? Can you learn how to pull my tooth for me? I think I want you to take my tooth out. Okay, I don't know why. I wasn't putting two and two together. I forgot the title of this video. This video is titled, Husband Pulls Out His Wife's Tooth. Wife's Tooth, that's kind of hard to say. Meaning, this is straight up gonna happen. I don't know if I can watch. <laughs> Gotta roll out the hospital paper. Can you imagine being this camera guy? I don't like the idea of pulling my wife's teeth out. What if I pull the wrong one or something, you know? I hope the husband doesn't accidental E remove the wrong tooth. <laughs> Sorry, did anyone else feel like those pliers look like they were like incredibly unsanitary and rusty AH? <laughs> Meaning as heck. <laughs> Might want to give yourself a tetanus shot after. I'm going to use benzocaine to numb up my gum so that when my husband pulls my tooth, I won't feel anything. It's not enough. The extraction will actually take place using this barber's tool. Using this rusty old grimy barber's tool from 1983. No, listen, you can't just numb yourself with benzocaine. I'm sure a lot of you watching already know this, but the dentist has to shoot usually lidocaine or benzocaine or whatever it is into your nerve. That is how they block the pain from having your teeth worked on. I know this because I was not numb for the first 30 years of my life. And I finally found a dentist that would numb me for procedures like this. this 
this is not gonna be enough. It's not funny. I'm building a, um, a vacuum for her mouth. I'm using a regular vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh man, these people are very creative. This, um, this regular cola. Phosphorus acid in the cola dissolves the rust in the metal. No way! Hey, you guys, you know, we may be disturbed beyond belief, but at least we got a cleaning hack. Put your rusty old tools in cola. She's not even scared. She's just bad to the bone. Nervous? A little. <laughs> comfortable? Yes. She looks comfortable. Look at her. Can't you tell how comfortable <laughs> she is? Here we go, guys. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. It's okay. Mm. Ah. 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 Yeah. Ah. I think I got it. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. He did it. Good job, Gary. Or what was his name? Grant. Pain only lasts a short time, but saving that money lasts so much longer. You know. <laughs> I don't know that I believe that happened. It's just too hard to believe. There was no like horrible sounds. It kind of looked, kind of looked like they faked it, you know? And I hope they did. I can't tell. I can't tell if I like hope that that wasn't true or if I hope that it was true because it was so impressive. <laughs> you asked me to pull your tooth. Sorry, your SOL. I would rather give you the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends, I think that might have been the most extreme, extreme cheapskate that we've seen so far. But as usual, send me more. Well, look at that, kids. Look at the time. It's 2.30. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that lady is braver than me. <laughs> In fact, I think she deserves a plaque for her bravery. <laughs> do, you, do you get it? Because teeth have plaque. I don't know, okay? I looked up tooth puns. All right, friends, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching me react. I look forward to see you reacting to me reacting so that I can react to you reacting to me reacting to this. Comment down below your favorite weird episode of a TLC show, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out! There's some good tooth puns on here. They're not even puns, they're jokes. This one says, what do you call a bear with no teeth? <laughs> a gummy bear. <laughs> Nobody is more affected by the global helium shortage than this guy. Nah, I'm sure he's fine, he can just use his breath. 1969, in 50 years we'll have flying cars. 2019, I'm attracted to balloons. <laughs> that comment wins.